Okay. Good morning, one and all. Myself, Dr. Rupa Shri, consultant in obstetrics and gynecology, Hyderabad. Uh, till now, I have covered each and every topic in uh, physiology of pregnancy as a 10 minutes video. Uh, and this is the last important topic of the uh, chapter. So, there may be two to three questions which are very important. We'll discuss this. Okay, these are the cutaneous changes in pregnancy. Uh, what are these means? On the face, there is extreme pigmentation. This is also known as cloisma gravidarum. This is the extreme extreme pigmentation over the forehead, eyes and face that is cheeks. See all this the forehead see near the around the eyes and the cheeks okay and they disappear spontaneously after delivery so these are all image based questions see when we when they give a woman with pregnancy and all the marks over the face, this is known as cloisma gravidarum or face mask. Okay, will they disappear means? Yes, immediately after delivery, they get disappeared. Now, over the abdomen, we see some of the conditions like linea nigra. And other is a stria gravidarum. See, linea nigra means it is a line which extends from Ziphi sternum to the pubic symphysis. It is a single brown color line. It is a single brown color line extending from Ziphi sternum to pubic Symphysis. Next. This deposition, this is brown in color. Brown color. Okay. It is mostly because of the increased melanocyte stimulating hormone from the anterior pituitary. Similar lines can be seen is seen in people taking ossicles because of the hormones like estrogen and progesterone. They will keep an image and they will be asking, name the line mentioned in the image. Then this is the linear nigra. Okay. See, it is a, like a line. And so it is linear. And it is mostly because of the increase in the hormone like melanocyte stimulating hormone from the anterior pituitary. They will be asking the reason why. Why? Which hormone will be causing this linear nigra? That is melanocyte stimulating hormone. And last is, it is also seen in some of the other people like Apart from pregnant women, it is seen in people taking OC pills because of the increase in the hormones like estrogens and progesterones. Next. Next is the stria gravidarum. See, these are the stria. See, all these marks which are below, above and around the umbilicus and around the thigh. Okay. Stria gravidarum means these are the depressed marks. Around and below the 
umbilicus and thigh. Okay. These are present around and below the umbilicus and are present at the thigh. Initially, these are pink color. Because of vascularity. But later on, they become glistening white. Glistening white because of the deposition of the scar tissue. Okay. When they become like glistening white in color. Initially, this is in pregnancy. But later on, because of the by glistening white, that is because of the deposition of scar tissue, it is known as tria albicans. Okay. Treatment or how to prevent this tria gravidarum is controlled weight gain. And next is application of some of the lubricants like Like olive oil. Okay. See why I am showing this image is this image will be asked and they will be saying what is the image showing. Whether it is linear nigra, stria gravidarum, stria albigens or spider nevi. They will be asking like that. So this is stria gravidarum which is present below the umbilicus and when there is scar tissue deposition it will become white in color. Uh, this is known as stria albicans and treatment is controlled weight gain with application of some of the lubricants. And next is other cutaneous changes which are rarely seen. First one, this is vascular, vascular spider. Okay, this is mostly because of the raised in the hormones like estrogen and also vascularity and next is this is known as see I am showing the palms okay so this is palms palms with redness so palmar erythema this is mostly because of the hormone like estrogen Estrogen causes increase of vascularity. Okay. So, other cutaneous changes were like uh, vascular uh, spider and palmar erythema. And in previous condition, see stria gravidarum, it is mostly because of the over enlargement of the abdomen. The marks are because over enlargement of abdomen and also seen in other conditions like <coughs> obesity, Cushing syndrome, okay, obesity and Cushing syndrome. So, in this uh, cutaneous changes we have discussed first is phase that is cloasma gravidarum and next is abdominal conditions like one is linear nigra. Okay, you have seen the image. Next is the stria gravidarum. And last are the vascular spider or palmar edema. Okay, I think you all understood this topic. And the physiological changes in pregnancy cold chapter has been completed. And if you have any doubts, please see the YouTube and you can answer the questions well with these small, small explanations. Thank you.